Hello everyone, my name is Kuhumat Pei and today I'll be talking about CHS and LPA addressing. So uh, let us start with its introduction. CHS and LPA addressing are some methods that are used in hard drive. Okay, a uh, hard disk drive is a non-volatile storage device that stores all your data digitally in an encoded form rapidly on a rotating platter with magnetic surfaces. So the hard disk was originally invented by an ID, IBM team by uh, Ray Johnson in 1956. So all your data is accessed in a random access manner meaning that the individual blocks of data can be stored and retrieved in any order. Okay, uh, now the process of addressing and locating those files in the hard disk is known as hard disk addressing. There are two types of addressing, CHS addressing and LBA addressing. First, we will be talking about CHS addressing. Now, CHS is a cylinder head sector. In cylinder head sector, you can see uh, there is a cylinder. This hole is cylinder. These are the heads, these are the platters and like this disc like structure are the platters. In that, in those disc like structures, these concentric circular lines are tracks and then these are sectors. A group of sector makes a track. A group of track makes a whole plateau. This also has this arm assembly and a read write head. Now back to this. As the said there, the platters are paired with magnetic heads, the arm and are usually arranged on a moving accurator arm which read and write all the data on the platter surfaces. So all your data is read and written on these platter surfaces. It is also retrieved from those platter surfaces. Okay, so now each sector has uh, at least like 512 bytes of capacity and the sector number on each tracks are the same in early hard disk. Okay, there's no difference. And the inner sector with small physical area can have same capacity with the outer sector through different density arrangement. Okay, now CHS is a method for locating the hard drives that appear early, that appear very early. Okay, now although addressing uh, with drives with CHS today is not recommended. It is an old technology basically and many modern technologies has been discovered okay for this method. So that's why it is not recommended okay but still they are used in many utilities okay now uh, moving on. So if we know the number of the cylinder okay head sector we can calculate the formula. We can calculate by this formula. Okay. How to calculate the head disk capacity? Right. We have cylinder number. We have head number. We have sector number. Okay. All this. We have cylinder number. We have head number. We have sector number. We have to just multiply cylinder number with head number, sector number and 512 bytes to know the head disk capacity. Okay, now LBA addressing. LBA addressing is the logical block addressing. It is another method that is used to type in the, uh, type in the disk storage unit. What is the difference between LBA and CHS addressing? We will talk about it later. But Basically, LBA addressing, it is used for hard drives larger than 7,844 gigabytes. Okay, CHS 
is not made to store this big number of data okay 7844 gigabytes of data ch is no, are not made for that it is completely important okay but for compatibility reasons right <coughs> now the lva concept erases the definition of cylinder and head in chs okay it does not need those things now the lva address system seems the drive as a storage entity that holds consecutive blocks as suggested in the name as given in the name logical block addressing okay so it can be said that the logical block addressing system is a linear address system meaning that the first block will have zero address and the last block will own the highest address number depending on the drive okay now and uh, depending on the drive instead of uh, specifying the location of cylinder head and sector in chs the disk controller only needs to know the lba address of a block to access it easily like in cylinder head sector we have to like do some hard work like we have to calculate the cylinder we have to count the head number the sector numbers okay the head capacity to calculate the head capacity it is very difficult but in lba logical block addressing all you have to know is the block address of a block to access everything okay so it is easier than chs addressing system using lba the drive can access output more blocks only okay meaning that its capacity may be larger okay now the block concept in lba is equivalent to the sector in chs now let us talk about the difference between chs and lba addressing you know chs is very old technology okay it is limited because of the size and the numbers involved now lba addressing is also simpler it is not as complicated as chs addressing it is simpler and uh, it is introduced it was basically introduced to simplify matter and increase the address space okay lba was first developed around uh, scsi hard drives nowadays it is the dominant form of hard disk addressing since its addressing mod is simpler than that of chs okay now thank you everyone this was it